Hello everybody, Ian Gilda TV Travel Shop. Um, yes, I'm out on that occasion again. I'm on my fourth cruise of the year. Um, perks of doing this job is many of the cruise lines bring me out to sample their amazing cruises. I am on the beautiful NCL getaway. Um, if you want to click around the links around our social media, that will give you my full review on the NCL getaway, what I thought of her. Also, it is their first um, cruise um, since COVID. So it will tell you a little bit about their the protocols. Um, I'm on deck eight at this moment. I'm outside my, the sugar cane, which is Mojitos, and behind me is La, Cu La Cucina um, Italian restaurant with the outside area. I'll be eating in there later on today, so I'm really looking forward to this one. If it's your first time to show, we come out through our social media channels at 11 a.m. with three amazing offers, the best in the travel industry. The first will always be a short haul, the second will always be a long haul, the last will be either a cruise, a bucket list or sporting event. These offers come from our trade partners, being travel agents, tour operators and hoteliers. They submit them into the team, the team pick the best offers which come in during those days and weeks to make certain we're giving you the best travel deal in the marketplace. They check to make certain they're using good quality accommodation which is very important and last but not least um, that your money is protected by the way of either APTA, ATO or Trust Service. On to our short haul offer and uh, this is a beautiful offer. This cruise started in Italy, so it would be rude not to have an Italian offer. And two of the most iconic um, places to visit in Italy is Venice and Lake Garda. And my friends at Hology, the four and five star holiday experts, have put an offer together which combines both of these beautiful um, towns and cities. Uh, sorry, Lake Garda isn't really a city, but the town and the area. So this is for a six night holiday. So we're gonna spend three nights in Venice, in Venice Mestre area. If you've been to Venice, it's all about the Vaporettos, the gondolas, the Bridge of Sighs. It's a lovely area to explore. You can take a boat over to Murano and see how the Murano glass, how it's all blown. The Venice Mestre is close to Lido, so if you want if you want a bit of beach action, you can get to the Lido um, and have some beach action. So you get three nights staying there, and then you're going to go by train over to Lake Garda. Um, things are doing Lake Garda. You've got a Gardland Resort, which is a theme park with thrill and family resides. You've got Samino Castle, which is an ancient um, fortress offering scenic climbs. This is where it's going to test me. The Vittoria degli Italiani, which is a former writer's home and amphitheatre. And you've got Monte Baldo, which is a mountain with a cable car to the top, which you're then going to have a look over the stunning um, lake as well. Obviously, with the lake, they have man-made beaches. You can do water sports. Um, you can take the boat uh, going across to the different towns, explore them, have, have coffee, have ice cream, have moretti or um, Peroni is everything which is to do with um, Italy so let me tell you where you will be staying first of all so when you do this you'll be staying in the Hotel President in the Mestre area of Venice it is around about 15 minutes out you can either jump on the bus or the Vaporetto the Vaporetto is a water taxi in to see the whole of Venice it's ranked number 39 out of 60 hotels in Mestre it's on a four star basis um, TripAdvisor give it three point um, so they rate it for its location its cleanliness its service its value with, it, with this hotel it's typically Italian the rooms are fairly quaint It'll be fairly, I wouldn't exactly say basic, but don't expect the Ritz. Um, but that's how a lot of Italian hotels are. And then the hotel you'll be staying at in Delgado is the Hotel Oliveto. It's ranked number 34 out of 43 hotels. TripAdvisor give it a 3.5 um, for location, cleanliness, service and value. It has facilities such as a coffee shop, stroller, um, bag storage, um, a buffet breakfast. You can have breakfast in the room. There's newspapers you can get there. It's a non-smoking hotel. Um, it's dining facilities include a restaurant, a breakfast room uh, and a fortifying breakfast is served daily. I don't know what a fortifying breakfast is, I'm hoping it's a hearty one. Um, as I say, the hotel in Mestre is the Hotel Levitel Hotel in Desilano del Garda. Um, it's 400 metres away from the beach. Um, it has an indoor swimming pool as well, sun loungers, parasols, jacuzzi, sauna. You do windsurfing there as well. So this six nights, let me tell you what it includes first of all. It includes return flights from London to where you're going to fly into Venice and then back out of Milan. Um, train from Venice to Lake Garda and includes train from Venice to yeah, and also a train from Venice to uh, 
um, the Milan Airport. It's actually saying £30 per person, so it says it includes it, so I'm guessing it's going to be included. It's on a and b basis of both of these four-star accommodation. So are you ready for the prices? The cheapest price they've got is in November at 199 per person. Six nights, b and four-star accommodation, two train journeys, 199 October from 259 December from 219 and then February and March are from 289 per person, April from 349 and May from 349 If you fancy this, this is a cracking deal. Six nights, 200 quid, great cities. Give them holiday call cool numbers on the screen. Like it and share it on Facebook. Give me some Instagram love. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Enable notifications to get the best travel deals in the marketplace. So on to our long haul file. This comes from my friends, the friend, the travel queen. Um, she's a personal holiday advisor. Her name's Nicola. She's been in the industry over 20 years. She is a North America specialist. She specializes in Orlando, New York, Las Vegas, and Canada. And this is a four center holiday um, in Canada. And it's like, the, many people have heard of the Rocky Mountaineer. This is very, very similar. And it follows the route of the Rocky Mountaineer where you take a car and you drive. So. So your first port of call is you're going to fly into Calgary where you are then going to um, take your car and drive approximately two hours to the Caribou Lodge and Spa Hotel in Banff. I've actually stayed in this hotel, it's the first time I went to Canada and um, the Caribou Lodge is um, around about a mile out from the main area of Banff. You can walk into there, it has one of the best restaurants called The Keg. If you like steak, it is phenomenal. Breakfast in the morning when they do pancake is, is amazing. The rooms are beautifully appointed. The thing when you go to Banff is it's a lovely town you can walk down there it's very friendly lots of great restaurants and you've got um, you can go to the Bam Springs Hotel which is a massive very imposing castle like accommodation there is a mountain which overlooks overlooks Banff where they've got Sulphur Springs you can go up there take the gondola up there you can take your car out and go to places such as Sunshine um, which is a, a ski resort that's where I've skied or you can drive for around about 45 minutes and go to Lake Louise Lake Louise has Chateau Lake Louise, Lake Louise on the front where you overlook there it's all about going back to nature etc etc and looking at the the, the forestry the uh, say the wildlife it's just a great resort to go to and you can spend three nights on a room only basis after your three nights you're then going to um, drive to Jasper this is going to be going through the mountains absolutely breathtaking where you'll be spending two nights at the Jasper Inn and Suites by sunrise this is a three-star accommodation it's on a room only basis then after your two nights in Jasper, you're going on to the Coast Kamloops Hotel in Kamloops. I've got to say, it's all going through the mountains. It is the heart of the Canadian Rockies. It's some of the most breathtaking scenery that you can see. You can stop off at any time, as I say, because it does include your own um, accommodation. And then last but not least, you're going to arrive into Vancouver. Vancouver is a great, co um, great town. It's on the, the coast. Things to do, you can go up um, Grouse Mountain. There's two bears up there. One is called Grinder, and I think the other is called Collie. Um, there's a zoo up there. You get great views overlooking Vancouver. Take your helicopter ride out there. You can take a float plane out, go see the, this amazing town. Get yourself to the Capilano Suspension Bridge. It's a cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan town. There's great bars, there's great restaurants. Or if you still got your car, maybe take the ski to Sky and drive up to Whistler. It'll take you around about two hours. Again, there used to be a train journey called um, the Whistler Mountaineer. It follows up there. There's a couple of waterfalls you can stop up. There's a gold mine which used to be working that's a great tour as well you can go via Squamish once you get to Whistler you can take the coast to coast um, or peak to peak gondola which takes you between the two mountains of Whistler and Blackcomb it's just a great great trip so in total this is a 10 night trip includes car hire it's on a room only basis so if you fancy doing this um, you can give the travel queen a call um, she, the, the cheapest departure she has is 11th of October and you can fly from London Gatwick at only 30 49 Manchester from 1449 Edinburgh from 1479 but if you want to go in 2022 as well you can go from London Heathrow based on the 8th of May at 1599 May is a great time to go when you got there still be snow on the mountains I mean I, I went in May uh, end of May uh, and they were still skiing out there and it, it was 75 degrees when I was up in Whistler it is a great place to go to so if you want a four centre Canadian delight go to 
pack this package up, um, you're going to be following where the Whistler, uh, the Rocky Mountaineer will be going as well. The Rocky Mountaineer is around about an extra £1,300. So this is a really, really good way of doing it at a very, very cheap cost. And uh, I guarantee you won't regret it. So if you fancy this, give the Travel Queen a call. Numbers on the screen. Like it, share it, Facebook. Give me some Instagram love. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And open notifications for the best travel deals in the marketplace. If you missed the beginning of the show, I am on the beautiful Norwegian getaway. I'm out here on a trade event, the first time this, crew, this cruise ship has cruised in 18 months. Um, I'm by um, La Cucina restaurant. Um, I'm down on deck eight. Over to my left hand side is Italy, I believe. Unfortunately, you can't, cannot see it. Um, I've had an amazing, amazing time. So we've really got to do the offer, uh, a cruise offer for this beautiful ship. Reasons why I like this ship, the entertainment, is the best entertainment I've had. Um, I've been on here for four nights. We've had three parties. I've seen four shows. Um, the Julian Piano Bar is by far the best bar I've ever been on at sea. I've been now on, I think it's 107 cruises. Um, the food is fantastic. They have more choice than anybody. The, the rooms are beautifully appointed. The staff have been absolutely breathtaking. This is my fourth cruise this year in the last two months. These guys, I've never been so happy to see people in all my life. Hello, Mr. Ian, how you doing? Have you had a great day? They really have gone over the top. I cannot say enough praise about these. So if you fancy a little bit of NCL, I'm also gonna run a video to actually show you what you could be getting if you come on an NCL cruise. So who's excited and want to come on NCL? I do. I really look into actually um, book this possibly for myself. So what's this? What's the offer? It's going on the 2nd of June 2022, where you're going to get three nights stay in Copenhagen, a city that I've only disembarked on. Very picturesque, very beautiful, home of the Hans Christian Andersen. Um, you've got the uh, amazing waterfront, you've got the Tivoli Gardens, which you can visit. So you're going to get a three night centrally located stay there. And then you're going to board this fantastic ship on an all inclusive basis because including the price from cheap cruises is the free at sea, where you're going to get speciality dining, you're going to get to eat in three speciality restaurants during the seven nights, and also a premium drink package. So, this is a seven night cruise going up to the Baltic. It's not an area that I've been to, and I don't really know a lot, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to get Wi Fi to research this as well as I would do normally. So, I do apologize in advance. I'll be literally reading the um, but where you actually be going to. So I like it's a nine night. So your first port of call is Von Munde. Von Munde you mostly wouldn't know of, but it's actually Berlin. So it's around about an hour into Berlin. Berlin is obviously famous for its wall. East and West Berlin, um, Checkpoint Charlie, where you still got the Americans there as well. Great plan to visit. Um, I do know they're very, very super friendly there as well. They love getting the cruise ships in. Next port of call is on Tallinn in Estonia. It's a medi medieval city, um, Eastern European, um, great culture, great history to go around. 
and then the, the main highlight for many people is you're going to get an overnight in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is famous for its palaces, its squares, its SARS, absolutely amazing. To, to go into St. Petersburg though, you are going to need a visa. You can either arrange that beforehand, but most people will actually take the ships to us where they'll include that. Even though it's there for two days, you will need to, if you want to go out both days, you will need to take the short excursion on both days. Then the last book, couple of ports of call is in Helsinki, capital of Finland, and Stockholm in Sweden. Again, famous for its palaces, its waterways, its coffee shops. So this is a nine night cruise. So for, in total, this is a 12 night package going on the 2nd of June, 2022. Um, three nights on a um, room only basis in Copenhagen, nine night all inclusive cruise, including speciality dining. My friends at Cheap Cruises are leading at only 15.99 per person for an inside and outside at 16.99, a balcony at 19.99, or if you really fancy, you've got a special vacation, you could upgrade to a suite from only 2249. This is an amazing ship, great itinerary, um, all inclusive, speciality dining. Give Cheap Cruises a call, numbers on the screen, like it, share it, Facebook, give me some Instagram love, subscribe to our YouTube channel, enable notifications um, to get the best travel deals in the marketplace. If you put into any of these ports of call, please comment. We'd love to see your comments. And if you don't fancy this, but you want to see what else we've got, please go to www.tvtravel.shop. See you all tomorrow at 11 o'clock.